Good morning, everybody. I'd just like to give a quick update on my custom geothermal system. We have it hooked up to my wood furnace for extra air circulation. Down the other end of the greenhouse, I've got the two eight inch and two six inch fans that pump uh, the hot air during the day down into the bottom of the ground. And this allows me to store it like a thermos or a battery. So during the cold hours of the night, I can turn on my fans and this creates like a recycling effect in a car. trap heat in the ground and I build up the heat in the ground so much that it regulates to one temperature within the greenhouse and within the ground and then during the nighttime it lasts that much longer uh, than what it would if I didn't have the geothermals. The neat thing about having it hooked up to my wood furnace is that I don't actually need the wood furnace on for my fans on the opposite end to still have effect. Uh, the air simply moves from down there and it comes out through the, the duct work on the furnace, so I don't need to have it on. And another cool thing is having 10 or 12 or even 15 degrees stored down in the ground and pumping it through the furnace uh, doesn't require such a big fire or as long for the fire to heat up the furnace enough for it to cut in during the winter and produce the heat that you get from the wood. It went down to minus two degrees last night. Most greenhouse owners and operators would have to turn on some sort of heat source. Well, that's the beauty about the geothermal. Um, that is my heat source. That's my, my, my heat battery. They run almost 24 hours dependent on the weather and temperature. So today it's actually two degrees outside last night, it was freezing. And because of the geothermal, we were able to keep it up to 12 degrees inside the green. Today's supposed to be a lot of cloud cover, so we won't get so much heat uh, to put in the ground, so we'll reduce the amount of suction in the fans. And this will stop putting the cold air in the ground, and we'll actually start the stove today, probably get this place warmed up so that we can pump some more heat to the ground so that it lasts longer into the night. The geothermal is amazing in that way that before I had it tweaked, uh, I was running the furnace a lot more and now that I've got it tweaked and upgraded, I'm finding that I don't have to heat the greenhouse half so much. The ground is doing the work. I don't have to be up all night with wood in the barn. Here's some spinach I transplanted yesterday. Didn't seem to be any signs of shock from transplanting. The way it looks good and chipper. Here's the romaine lettuce. These guys did have a little bit of shock when I transplanted them. They're coming back though, they always will. Plants are resilient. My favorite part about my geothermal system is that it's very cost efficient. Uh, I ran the numbers. It doesn't cost a lot to run the four fans into the end game, the, the bottom line, or the... Yeah, that, we're gonna cut that part. The biggest benefit to the geothermal system is the heat recovery. Uh, you're able to store heat, and you're able to recover that heat. You're able to get heat out of the greenhouse when it's too hot, put it somewhere, and then you got it when it's too cold. That's an awesome benefit to have. God, I just love this automatic trough washer. It makes washing that much easier when it comes time to clean out those pipes. And the best part is, is if you put your pipes in the automatic trough washer as soon as you harvest the plants, any kind of 
debris or anything that's in that pipe is going to come up really easy. It's like washing your dishes right after you have your supper versus leaving them on the counter about for 14 weeks. Fertilizer, soil-based fertilizer update. Let's have a look. This was all planted last night. I can see that the Patrona lettuce shells have opened, so that's cool. But there's actually a little bit of water down in the bottom of it, so I want to check the, the PPM levels. So it's at four, 397.400 in there right now, which is high. I don't really want it that high, but we're going to see how they do, see if they take it. You see that the Patrona shells are starting to crack open. In conclusion, I believe every greenhouse should be equipped with its own custom geothermal system just to help regulate the heat and the cold. And I think it will be beneficial to everybody to follow along, hit the subscribe button and like what you see because the more you do that, the more videos I can make and the more I can get into hydroponic gardening better for you guys. So have a good day.